my rock and roll valentine. When I first heard Ziggy Stardust on my not so sweet 16th, I wanted to be glam, Bowie, New York Dolls, T-Rex and Slade. I wanted to wear silver sequins and jet black mascara and hear myself on the radio playing a flying V guitar, platinum flying V guitar with diamond studded pegs. Never mind the cold hard facts that I couldn't play for shit. You see, I was skinny as a guitar string and I could fuck up a lyric with the best of them. And when that pretty blonde transferred into my 10th grade math class, apple cheeks pink with a tad too much blush and wearing an Elton John t-shirt, well, love at first sight sealed my future. And rock and roll was the icebreaker. And we could always fall back on the music when the pauses on the phone got too pregnant. But fear of rejection miscarried romantic notions, and I never made a move. A coward convinced she was far too lovely for the likes of me. So we went to countless concerts as the dreaded friends Suburban mall rats taking the train to the city, zigzagging midtown Manhattan from Grand Central to Madison Square Garden and back with our blue denim jackets reeking of cigarettes and stale beer till going to college, coupled with the need to make money, frayed many a friendship and we became casualties. As she spent more time on pretty boy musicians whose talent dwarfed my all talk, no action, rock soap opera dreams. The things missing in my life got me jealous and angry. S hormones certainly not helping. So turning to the punk ethic, I got drunker than a barrel full of monkeys. Tearing up my old concert shirts. Tearing up notes that we passed in class. And I didn't see her for decades. As I arguably grew up more or less. Fast forward 40 years. And though bills are paid by a vocation as far as can be from rock and roll. Music still, as always, the passion pulling tides of blood through every nook and cranny of my body. So much so that binging on the old tunes triggered a rather distressing midlife crisis, which brought me back home to my Mecca of a mall, where I saw the girl of my dreams smiling and spraying pricey perfume at unsuspecting customers walking the aisles at Macy's. She was, a, she was always a natural for the beauty business, and the years were quite kind to her, though those same years stole my wannabe rock star hair and morphed my body from guitar string to stand-up bass. So I approached with the smell of roses and sandalwood in the air, mouthing the words to conversations that might work. Can you believe fucking Keith Richards is still alive? My heart beating like a, like a bonzo, but a rhythm I couldn't keep as my confidence bottomed out. Knowing I had nothing of note to show for all this time away, except maybe this poem tucked in my vest pocket. But it played like a song that you switch on the station, so there it stayed as a lonely heart walked away. <laughs>